Well, today we're going to be looking at uh, some of the new Kenner Stroke Hasbro retro collections. So they've done uh, a set of six Star Wars uh, figures from the first film and a set of six Empire Strikes Back figures, uh, which you can find in my playlist. Um, but this is uh, a set where they've done a set of retro Star Wars figures that have never been released before. Which is a bit a bit of a strange concept, but they've basically done new figures in the style of the old Kenner figures um, with the packaging. Um, I saw these in Tesco, uh, which is amazing just to see these things in a supermarket. Um, so I picked it up. It, well, they didn't have the full set, unfortunately. They didn't have Cara Dune or the little Nick Nolte Ugnaught fella. Um, I'm generally not a great fan of retro style figures. I did pick up quite a few of the... Uh, the reaction ones, you know, like Halloween, Firefly, etc. What are you doing, Cat? Just having a roll about them. Chin. You mm mean -hmm. bad? Um, so I saw these and I, I, I've basically had to pick them up. They're so cute, they're so nice. So we're going to look at each one in turn. Um, we're also going to uh, show a, an easier way to get these stickers off because. If I'd have been Kenner, I'd have made these stickers to just peel off easily. They didn't, so you've got to find a way to do it. Uh, I've used like light fluid stuff like that, but I found a much easier way. So I'll show you that. But let's have a look at the. Actually, let's um, let's get one of the stickers off. Now I can take the other stickers off. Now we can see them, sort of the cards properly, because uh, all the stickers are the same. Right, slang bang in the middle of the picture. Um, so the way to get these off, let's do. Uh, Let's do Grief Karga. Do you know what? I've watched both seasons and I still didn't know what this guy's name was. It's a good character though. Uh, so what we're going to do... Uh, let me let me fix my camera up. I'm going to need both hands basically. Okay, so what I've got is a just a standard craft heat gun. Now uh, this is a Creelando one. It's actually my wife. She gave me. She upgraded to a much nicer one. Uh, I use this a lot on sort of making foam armour, cutting foam, that sort of thing. But it's really good for getting stickers off. Um, it comes in two settings, high, high and low. Uh, so I'm just going to use the high setting for a few minutes. Sorry, it's a bit noisy. And then that usually just softens the glue enough. Sometimes you have to do it a few times. That's better. All it does, it get you got to get to the right temperature, and it just melts the glue off. So obviously you need a bit more warmth on that. There we go. There you go. Completely gone. So I'm going to do that on all the rest, and then we'll come back and have a look. Okay, so let's have a look at these in turn. So this is the packaging is very similar to the other retro ones. It's still got the horrible damage built in. Look at this cat. What's she doing? What are you doing? You upside down for a reason? Doesn't need a reason. Um, yeah, so this is Grief Karga and it's uh, it's quite a nice likeness. Um, so you get the figure nicely painted. Uh, I do love that these come with the, the old style vinyl capes. Uh, wish it didn't have the sort of um, safety instructions in it. And then you also get a blaster pistol, which I don't think is anything from the original run of figures. That looks like a newly produced one. Um, a very, very photoshopped image by the looks of it. But you can see that the outfit's pretty accurate. Um, and then on the back, they've really missed a, a trick with these. So, I mean, look at it. It's just wall-to-wall, multi-language text. Where's the photos of the other figures? Where's the, the rest of the range or advertise some of your other products um, but basically it says Star Wars Retro Collection is inspired by 1970s Star Wars figures and features original figure design and detailing. Continue your collection from the galaxy far far away at the supermarket just around the corner. So the set is the Mandalorian now there's an asterisk above the Mandalorian. Where's the caveat for that? Oh here we go each sold separately, subject to availability. So that's the, they're going to run out basically. So Mandalorian, 
which we've got. Kara Dune, we haven't got. IG-11, we've got. Kuil, that must be the little uh, Ugnaught fella. The Child, Moff Gideon, Grief Karga, and Remnant Trooper. Oh, we haven't got Remnant Trooper. That's Remnant Trooper, is that like Stormtroopers? Um, so yeah, the back is just wall to wall text, the total waste of effort. But yeah, they're, they're really nicely packaged. I do like this figure. He looks pretty good. I'm presuming it is all new sculpt and they haven't just used like Hoth Trooper's arms or anything. So that's Grief Kargar. Uh, the next one, which is I think one of my favourites, is Moff Gideon. Uh, this character was brilliant. Um, it does look like Desmond <laughs> from the uh, the sitcom about the hairdressers. Um, so if you want to ever want to do your range of Desmond figures, it's probably a good start. So again, it comes in a lovely uh, Vine or Darth Vaderish cape. Um, is he going to focus? Quite a nice sort of sculpt. Again, get a nice little pistol, new design. And you get the dark saber, but it doesn't look much like a dark saber. It just looks like Luke's lightsaber in a grey plastic. Because doesn't it, doesn't it have like a a shaped end on it? I might have to get a second set of these to open them because it's the same back on all the figures. But yeah, great. Look at that. Good stuff. So two good ones, and then we've got IG10, uh, who's a IG. 88 type clone. I don't know whether they, I don't think they've used the IG-88 body on the classic one. They might have done for the legs and arms. I never had this one as a kid, so. Um, this one you get the classic Stormtrooper blaster. And it looks like the, the um, Snowtrooper, I think, blaster. Someone will let me know if I'm wrong. I don't, I don't, I used to play with Star Wars figures when I was a kid, when they first came out. Uh, loved them, and I collected them right up to, um, Return of the Jedi, and then I, I just fell out of favour with Return of the Jedi. I think I probably hit the wrong age, so I got rid of them all. Nice figure. Uh, nice photo, I should say. I do like the retro packaging. And I love this weird style in where Kenner would just pick probably an out of focus blown up picture to put on their cards, and they've done the same with these, which is great. Good detail on this figure. Nice uh, paint applications, what there are of them. Again, oh, that awful uh, piece of paper you get with them. So yeah, I like him. I like him lots. Uh, and then let's have a look at the... This will be the breakout one that I think will sell well. This is, weirdly, they've called it The Child rather than um, Grogu. Uh, and this one is brilliant. So you get a base, nice sandy base. And then you get a, I don't know what that is, is that the bar to stand it on? Uh, and then you get the travel pod, which again, I'm gonna have to, they only had one of these each other, I've got a couple of sets. Um, that must open, can't wait to see inside of that. Uh, and then you get the little, the child stroke baby Yoda stroke Grogu figure. Um, it's just dying to have some, some washes put on it. But not a bad sculpt at all. Looks much more smooth and innocent than our beloved uh, Grogu. And then you get one of his frogs that he likes to eat. I'm not sure what that bar's meant to be. Again, it doesn't tell you on these. They don't sort of tell you what the stuff's meant to be. But that's a great figure. I like that. Good value for money, that one. And then the one we've all uh, come to see, the Mandalorian himself. And this is based on his early season one pre-Bascar steel look which is a great look so again they haven't just gone with the Boba Fett repainted it's lovely that again crying out if you want to do repaints and like perhaps chrome the helmet or something such a great concept and idea and execution on the, the Mandalorian so you get a pistol Again, new design, and then you get his uh, toast and fork gun. Again, very nice. Could have done it in brown plastic, and that would have been good. And then you also get a lovely cape. I love capes on figures. So yeah, so that's the 
that's the ones I've got so far. I'll try and get the rest of the set, and I'll try and get some to open. Uh, I don't want to open these in case they're the only ones I ever see. Um, but if you want to see more of these, please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments. Uh, I've got some other retro figures. I've got some of the reaction stuff if people want to see them. Do some close-up work on them. But uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Thanks, Anne. Bye.